What's going on? My heart's beating like crazy. The fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frisabel before we head off to Arborea. That all right with you? Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? <sighs> What's the matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I I'm all over it. Yeah. And second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering round on your own. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? A stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I'm so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. To gold? We don't know what causes it or how to cure it, so every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help. But every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent. But they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Danny looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help and that they must help you in turn. 
Take care, dear friends. Hmm. Gold. My gold. There you are. Is everything all right? Mm, not exactly. You see, the Queen seemed awful sad. Mm. And she told us it was. Ah. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You... you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... Oh, no! This can't be happening! Oh. What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's... It's... Got me! This is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Eric, honey, are you okay? Oh, tell me where it hurts. Eric? Huh? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And the fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders 
who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Uh, I'm a Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! Ugh. I need to be alone for a while. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Uh, please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Sorry I ran off like that. It's just... People's shouts are anything to go by. It is not a welcome sight. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. Sniveling Sniffelheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegard. All your gold belongs to us. Come on, you cluttering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. Metal-headed morons! Get the statue back to the ship! You don't want to keep building a waiting! The monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildegar, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels! Cease your boastful blustering, fiend! 
You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! <laughs> you think you can stop us? Feeble flesh bags! You're not even worth stealing! The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys! is its own reward. <laughs> Their companions are fleeing. After them! <laughs> Over there. They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were too slow. Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. I'm sorry. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be? You know, 
I had the very same thought. Yes. I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? Hmm. Those gold hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. This one. The boss has been after him for a long time. Celebrity, darling. I can't say I'm not jealous. This is no time for jokes, Sylvando. We're here to rescue Eric, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder? Just try it. We'll beat you blacker and bluer than the Lord of Shadows did. Imagine the reward you'd get if you took him the luminary's head on a platter. One of those empty spectral sentinel seats could be yours. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Come on then, boys. Let's swipe ourselves a skull that's worth its weight in gold.
Sorry to leave you stewing in there, laddie. They didn't hurt you, did they? Well, you're safe now. Let's head back to Sniffelheim. The priest's worried sick about you. Aye. Something is still not right. Eric, what did those fiends do to you? I was... here. And they were... Yeah. So... she must be... I've... gotta go. What was all that about, hmm? Come on, darling. We'd better get after him. for ten long years, ever since we found you freezing in that snowfield. You owe us your lives. So how about you start showing us some respect? Y yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Trouble again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mia. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big fat guts as much as you do. Huh? Shh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Tell you what, since I'm such a good sister, I'll stick around and cheer you on. Woo! 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 <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. You could at least help. 
<laughs> Make me. Uh -oh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> me and my big mouth. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for the help, Mia. Oh, stop moaning, will you? If you keep being horrible to me, I won't share any of my riches with you when I'm a millionaire. <sighs> oh, not that again. Still, I guess it's good to have a dream. One of these days, we're gonna get our hands on a whole pile of treasure and then we can wave this lousy place goodbye. <laughs> Forget a pile. I'm not gonna stop till I've got myself a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but first things first, we gotta find something to eat. If we had wings, we could fly away from here. We could go wherever we wanted. Uh, uh. What are you, five? You won't be flying anywhere on an empty stomach. Know what I think when I look at that thing? Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> something I picked up on today's raid. No birthday's complete without a present, right? Happy birthday, sis. Huh? Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Honestly, Eric, you need to try harder. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Word is, it's a ruby the size of my head. Huh. Well, word is that necklace has special powers. They say that whoever wears it will find gold at their fingertips wherever they go. It's probably just talk, but it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. I guess you'll just have to put it on and find out if... Where did you get that from? I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago. But as soon as I touched it, it...
Been at it again, huh? <laughs> What's the matter, Eric? Jealous of my treasures? Tell you what, if you ask me really, really nicely, I'll let you have one. Let me see now. Um... Ah, perfect! Huh? Wait, you didn't, did you? Mia, this isn't right. Yeah, I suppose it is a little small. I forget how greedy you are. Seriously, Mia, it's not funny. This has to stop. Hey, there's no need to shout. And anyway, you're the one that gave me this thing. Okay, I get it. I guess I have been getting a little carried away. Just stop looking at me like that, will you? <sighs> I'm sorry I lost my cool, okay? It's just... <sighs> no, no, it's fine. I'll stop turning stuff into gold. For now. <sighs> <sighs> What's wrong? The necklace. It won't come off. Come on, Mia. Stop fooling around. <laughs> I'm serious. I can't get it off. <gasps> what? What's happening now? I didn't do anything, I swear. Don't move! Damn it! What the hell's going on? It's all my fault. After what happened, I ran away. I wanted to leave this place. To leave my past behind. I asked around about the necklace on my travels and finally found out what it was. I'd given my sister a cursed relic. I wanted to forget who I was and what I'd done. So I threw myself into any adventure that came along and before I knew it, 
I was living as a thief. That's when I met him. The guy who called himself the Seer. He told me to go after the orb. That if I did, I'd meet the Luminary somewhere deep underground. And that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. At first, I didn't believe a word of it. The kind of circles I was moving in, you learn pretty quickly not to trust anyone but yourself. But sure enough, I went after the orb, I wound up underground, and I met you. Oh, mm. Your memory, laddie, it's back. It is. Thanks to you guys. Guess I've been kind of a pain these last few days, huh? I'll make it up to you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. But everything else he said came true. Maybe that will too. You saw it, right? The statue my sister turned into was right here. If this Gildigger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands on, maybe he took her too. I heard those golden goons saying he's holed up in a castle north of here. I'm gonna get me a back if it's the last thing I do. Then it looks like we're all headed the same way. After all, we've got some Sniffleheimers to rescue, right? Thanks again, you guys. It's good to be back. Mia? Call me that again and you'll regret it. I haven't been Mia for a long time. The name's Gildiga. Wait, you're... Yes, well done. I'm the big baddie. It was all me. Gold fever, stealing all the statues. Me, me, me. What's the matter, dear brother? Aren't you happy to see your little sister doing so well for herself? Anyway, what are you doing out of your cage? I wasn't planning on having my men bring you here till later. <laughs> You have every right to hate me, Mia. I hate myself for what I did to you. But the Vikings? The fever? Why would you do all this? Oh, questions, questions. Always with the questions. Fine. If you're so desperate to know, then I'll tell you. It all began when the World Tree fell from the sky, and the Lord of Shadows went to visit a certain lucky girl.
splendid addition to my world of darkness. I am Mordigan, Lord of Shadows, ruler of all Erdria. Come, child, drink of my power and be reborn. all alone in a cave. Thanks to that monster, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I have all the gold, all the power I ever wanted. And more. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn everyone in the world into golden soldiers, just like those stupid Vikings, and work them all to the bone. You really did turn the chief and his men into your slaves. What's happened to you? <laughs> you really think you deserve to know? After all you've done? I'll show you what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Five years. The thought of saving you was the only thing that kept me going. It's all my fault. All of this. Everything that's happened to you. Which means I have to finish this. I have to take you down. Now you decide to play the hero? You're too late. You couldn't save me, and you can't save yourself. Or your pathetic little friends. Why can't you all just leave me alone? I don't need a brother or a hero or anyone. You're worthless to me. But you'll be worth your weight in gold.
soon I'll show you how it's done.
Are you two all right? The poor wee thing's lost control of her power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's going to spread like wildfire. I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. Do it. She's my kid sister. I have to try and save her. Eric, you just lost us a fortune. Your sister was a vessel for a power beyond human understanding. It has taken a terrible toll. We must let her rest. But do not fear, my child. Her life is not in danger. In time, she will recover. Hmm.
I owe you. Mia owes you. Here. You should have this. The seer told me that if I helped the luminary, I'd find forgiveness. Guess he knew what he was talking about, huh? <laughs> We'd better make a move. Mia's safe here for now, which is good, because I've got things to be getting on with. Like helping you take Mordigan down. Let's hit the road, partner.